how to list products from CJ Dropshipping to Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can list products that you find on CJ Dropshipping onto your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do is create your account on both of these platforms. This means you need an account on CJ Dropshipping as well as Shopify. Now, the way that you're going to integrate the product from CJ Dropshipping onto Shopify is going to be via a plugin. So, so to be able to do this, so you're just going to make sure you've logged on to Shopify and CJ Dropshipping. And once you log on to CJ Dropshipping, you can actually click on the top right and you can click on My CJ. And then on the left toolbar, you will see different little sections. And in this section, the bottom section is store authorization. And then you can go into Shopify over here and you will see currently I don't have any Shopify stores authorized yet. Now I can go into Shopify over here. This is my Shopify store, the store that you want to import your products to. You're going to go into the store and click on settings on the bottom left and then you're going to click on apps and sales channels again on the bottom left. Once you do that, you're going to click on Shopify app store on the top right. Now, once you've opened up the Shopify app store, just search for CJ dropshipping. And once you search for CJ dropshipping, you're going to find the first listing over here in your apps. So you're going to just click on this particular listing. It should be by the developer of CJ dropshipping and just click on install. Now, once you click on install, you will be redirected to the installation page back on your Shopify dashboard and you're going to click on install app on the top right. Now, once you have completed this, your two applications can begin authorization with each other. Now, you guys can see I have logged on to this account before. Please confirm this is the account I've already logged on to with my browser. So I want to use this account. If you have a different account that you want to link, you can click on another account on the bottom left. And I'm just going to click on authorize over here. And just like that, my authorization is complete now. If I go into my CJ again and scroll down and now if I go into store authorization and click on Shopify, you will be able to see this is our Shopify store. So our Shopify store has been linked now. This is step one of listing or importing products from CJ Dropshipping. So once I have completed this, now I can go on to CJ Dropshipping. And let's say I'm looking to import some product. So let's go into women's clothing and go into outerwear and jackets for the winter season. And let's say I want to get started with selling some of these coats over here. Or let's say I just want to list a nice product. Let's look for a nice product. So let's say I want to list this plush jacket. If I just click on the listing, this will open up the entire listing and all of the sizes, all of the information, the shipping fee, service fee, and the total price. And you can get started to add the product to your Shopify store. Now, one thing I like to do is to make it easier is not to directly click on list because if you click on list, this is going to directly put the listing on your store. So if you're working in bulk, it's easier to just click on add to queue. And now what this will do is that in your CJ dropshipping dashboard, it will create a list of items where you can then customize the listing and then choose to add them to your particular store. So I can click on add to queue on multiple different products. Let's add a bunch of different products over here like this. So I've picked out a couple of different products. And if you want to directly add something, if you feel like, hey, I don't want to change much on this listing, then you can click on the listing and click on list over here. And then you will see all the variations available. So let's say I only want to sell this in pink. And then after that, you can choose the collection you want. Your Shopify store will automatically be added on the top. You can choose to charge taxes or not. That's totally up to you. Then you have your ship from, which is usually going to be default. And that is going to be set to the Chinese warehouse. Then ship my orders most to. This is going to be the target demographic for your product. So your product segmentation, let's say I'm targeting, you know, customers in the United States. So I'm going to click that. And then you have your shipping method. Now you will see the estimated delivery time and the shipping cost. This is going to be the average cost. And you can do different types of shipping partners by CJ Dropshipping. All of these are provided by CJ Dropshipping. And you can see the shipping rates that they're going to charge, the number of days that they're going to take. Now, 
DHL is going to be the fastest. It has a three to seven day estimation. However, it does cost $32. So it's really essential that you take a look at the best balance. You can see CJ Packet Ordinary is eight to 15 days and it has a price of $10. So I think this is pretty much the best deal that we're going to find over here. So I'm going to go with CJ Packet Ordinary. Then I have my vendor, which is going to be Durden. And then after I have done this, I am going to remove all of the green hoodies and then I have my your price section. So let's say I want to sell this for $50 and it's going to be $50 for all of my items. So we're just going to ensure this by adding all our product variation prices like this. And then I can just click on and you can bulk revise your prices from the top as well. But if you have variations where you have things such as additional items, like an additional bow tie that you're sending or a, a mashing scrunchie, anything like that, for those, you can create a variated price within the sizings. Now, after that, you're going to click on list it now. And this product is directly going to be pushed to my Shopify store. So to actually see products in your queue and products that have already been imported, you can go back into my CJ on your top toolbar. And then you're going to scroll down and you can click on products over here. Click on listed over here to see the listed products. It's going to take only a few seconds for your product to actually reach your Shopify store. Usually it doesn't take that long of a time. You can see our product has already been added. This is the pink hoodie that we just imported directly. Now, this is the direct method where you can just list the product. Obviously, for some people, they might want to look around a bit more. And for that, I like to build my queue whenever, you know, researching products more so. So once I've built my queue, I can go into my actual CJ dropshipping dashboard and you can go ahead and go into your basic dashboard. You're going to see all of your activated stores, you know, your basic overview. Then you have your export list within that as well. You have your inventory as well, the customization, customized packaging. All of that is present over here, but we're going to be focusing on importing products. So now after, you know, going through some of the basic section, you know, you have your purchase list, your photography inventories, wish list. Inventories are products that you can store in a different warehouse. So you guys can see these would be products that are going to be stored for you in a different kind of warehouse. You can choose to, you know, get these imported to you just to shorten your particular delivery time for your customers. Now, just going back to our CJ dropshipping dashboard, let's go into our product section once more. And in our product section, let's go into our listed products. Now, once you go into your listed products on the top toolbar, you will find the listed products. Then you can click on queue over here, and this will show you all of the products that have been added in your queue. So from here, you can click on bulk editing to bulk edit. You know, if you have two similar products, you can do some bulk editing on those. If you want to, you know, put them in the same price point, let's say you're selling two types of printed t-shirts and they're pretty much the same, just the design is variated. So you can, you know, list them. You can bulk edit them, especially if you're looking to sell a bunch of different products. And then you can click on manual listing and you can get started and click on manually listing each individual item. And you also have your template listing where you can get started by using a pre-existing template that you have built. So in this way, you can get started with importing products or listing products from CJ Dropshipping onto your Shopify store. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.